Building my girlfriend her dream gaming setup. This is my girlfriend Alice. She lives over 2,000 miles away from me and today we're doing something pretty damn crazy. For those of you guys that don't know, Aloe is a partner Twitch streamer and a full-time content creator. And for us to see each other, it's extremely expensive. So when she visits me, it's not for a weekend, it's more like a month. So I want to build her the setup that she never had. This is gonna be a good one, so get your snacks, sit back, and let's get right into it. Hello, what are we getting? Um, plants, a pegboard, I like to draw. Woo! Father and son time. Come on. Yeah. You should buy these. They're fire. Alright, so for the past couple weeks, we've been collecting all the things we need for her setup, but the first thing we need is internet. So I'm routing a cable all the way down to the office where her setup will be located. After setting up the internet, it was time to get started on the setup itself. Hold up, I gotta talk about today's sponsor, UCD Keys. People ask me all the time where you can get a Windows key for cheap. UCD Keys is the place to do that, and if you want even more money off, you can use code L20. That also supports me. If you're interested, the link is in the description. But yeah, back to the video. So the plan is to create something with her vision in mind, but also something that can evolve over time. So giving them the freedom to do that is just as important as building something really dope. All right, so we just put the desk. Tomorrow we get some desk risers, so I'll put that in, but for now we're gonna keep it like this. I was putting her plants everywhere. For now, I moved everything out here, but there's so much stuff. We're gonna set up her monitors. All right, I put a light in here, finish the desk. Now what, Aloe? The monitor. This is the monitor mount that we're using for now. It's from Vivo, it's a dual monitor mount and it's white. In the future, when we get her a third monitor, we're gonna put a different monitor mount, but for now, she only has two, so yeah. So eventually got both of those monitors up. However, a lot of this video takes place within a month span. So that's why we put together things kind of out of order. So just clearing that up for those that might be wondering. I was shipping her PC here, but for now we're gonna use this PC. And then we have some more stuff coming in like RGB lights to put around the room and then you know something we're gonna put that's actually pretty cool behind the setup but right now we're just setting up for her to stream now just setting up a lot of the basic cabling so that when her pc does come it's as easy as just switching the cables cable management update this is her ethernet cable and then her power strip is Right here. These are the only two cables that are gonna be on these cable tie thingies. I am getting more clips to put back here for most of the main stuff for her setup. All the USB stuff will be on their own little tracks, I guess. But everything will be seamless and clean just like this. So yeah, we're just gonna keep working. We got a key light, the mount for the camera, mic arm, another mount. This is a capture card so I can stream on my Switch. The stream deck and my face cam. Thanks, Elgato. Here's a little unboxing and setup of all the Elgato stuff. Please don't mind the cables. Just act like they're not there. I swear it's temporary for now. I'll fix it later. With her PC still being shipped and decorations still on the way, now's probably a good time to whip up the rest of the room together. This is a cube shelf that we picked up from Target. So yeah, here's a time lapse of us putting it together. She can put random plants, decorations, whatever she wants on it. Fast forward to the next day, a couple packages showed up and her PC is finally here. She shipped it from Virginia without an AIO and I was prepared for the worst, but it was perfectly fine. She also bought a couple upgrades for her PC, such as a white Z73, as well as a white power supply. So I ended up installing those for her. She left her 2070 at home because in the future, we want to upgrade her to a white Vision 3070 when I can get my hands on one of those. But for now, I'm just going to lend her this 3060 that I had laying around. In the future, we want to upgrade her fans, but for now, I think it turned out great. For those wondering, her case is the O11 Dynamic. With her PC ready, the next step to a complete setup is cables. I think I spent three hours on this. Looks good that we got a lot done today, including setting up her GoXLR. Some more stuff tomorrow, so see y'all then. Today is a big day for the setup. First, we're installing some desk risers, drilled holes into the Alex drawers, then securely fastened those with some screws. Also, Aloe's mirror came in. It's the same one that I have. Before we put the mirror up, we put this Govi lamp behind it. I like it because it has an even glow around the mirror. She'll use this mirror for her YouTube hauls, but also her stream background. Ah! Low room. She watches low. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Good job. 
but we're not done for the day yet so there's actually two things the first one is a new mic Ella wanted a shirt from 7b so she bought it and here's me installing it the last thing is basically the centerpiece of the setup to get this installed we had to move the entire setup like three four feet but it was well worth it when thinking of ideas for the setup, Aloe told me the main thing that she wanted was a big grass wall behind her setup. So we went to Home Depot and got this huge piece of plywood. It's the same width as her desk, which makes it perfect so it looks seamless. With the help of Rays, we got that up. It was harder than it looks. Then we put up this white leg shelf from Ikea. Ooh. And after, put this RGB strip all the way around it. Then it was time to put the grass panels up. I was so excited to see how this turned out. You like it? Yeah, it's cute. Is it what you wanted? Yeah, thank you. Hello. Yes. What do you think so far? I think it's very pretty. Look. Come here. Oh, go. Cool. She connected it to her stream deck. Ooh. Eventually, we're going to get her a third monitor, but we're going to give her my 240 hertz one when I upgrade. So until then, we'll put the clock here, but eventually, we'll probably put it here. The clock up. Now what are you doing? Cable managing. Your favorite part. The setup is done for now. Here's the final reveal you guys all wanted. Enjoy. My name is Allison Lee and this is my 2022 setup tour. I am super happy with it. <laughs> what? You can't do the eye contact? <laughs> now it's you. I look at you when it goes blink. I'm really happy with it, but altogether, I never envisioned it to look how it is now. There's bits and pieces of the room that was a dream of mine to have, but seeing it all together does make me really happy. And I actually think it looks a lot better than I ever imagined it to be. When did I get my first setup and how does it compare to my first setup? I got my first setup in August of... 2020. This was when COVID was kind of first hitting. I got a grant from my college for COVID because I was living at home and also renting out my apartment at school. So they gave me a little grant and I used that in instead of rent. I bought a PC and a desk. It worked out. It did work out. I would say my first setup was actually pretty nice. I had a Ryzen 7, had a 2070, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Like I had a really nice setup. I was very fortunate enough to be able to afford that. But my desk was super wobbly. I was always scared it was going to break through my desk. Because it was my childhood room, my room just had everything in it. Yeah, it was full of furniture that I've had for forever and it wasn't a blank canvas so I couldn't just do whatever I wanted. I also didn't have the funds that I do now to be able to purchase everything that I would want. So definitely huge upgrade having a whole space solely for the purpose of streaming and content creation, as well as a desk upgrade and a PC upgrade. I now have Intel, have a 30 series GPU, which I never thought I would ever want or be able to get. And the room is just cohesively me. What's next for my setup? And what are the next steps in content creation do I want to take? For my setup, as pretty as it looks, I think it's a little dull. So I want to add some more lights, make it more cozier, something that just feels very homey. I want to add a neon sign of my username. I want to add a little coffee bar, a station where people can just chill out if they are chilling in here. A mini fridge, because everyone has a mini fridge. I want a mini fridge my whole life and my mom has always said no. My overall theme for this setup was a cozy backyard. Have these really cool hanging lights, like with the circular light bulbs, and I have always been in love with that. So I wanna implement that into my room. I think it'd be very unique. I don't see many people having that and I think it would tie the room together. My next steps for content is I want to tie my community back into my streams again. I used to host a 
ton of community games, whether it's Valorant Customs or watch parties. I wanna do more community driven events just cause I feel like that's when I was having the most fun with streaming. But besides streaming, I wanna get a lot more into YouTube. I've been posting a lot more than I did last year. I think my true love when it comes to YouTube is vlogging and lifestyle content. I love showing you guys new things that I buy, my clothing hauls, what I do in my day to day. I love sharing that experience with you guys. So I do wanna get more into vlogging and lifestyle.